Top 10 Most Dangerous Serial Killers of All Time A serial killer is someone who murders at least two people in separate time-stamped events. While there is no legal definition of a serial murder, the crimes of serial killers have frequently been seized on by the media and public consciousness, especially when there are multiple victims or the murders are carried out in a gruesome manner. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go over the top 10 most dangerous serial killers of all time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10. Jeffrey Dahmer Kicking off our today's list with number 10, we have Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer, also known as the Milwaukee Monster and the Milwaukee Cannibal, began killing at the age of 18 in 1978. But he wasn't arrested for murder until 1991, when a would-be victim escaped and led police back to Dahmer's Milwaukee, Wisconsin home. Some of the gruesome details of his murderous life were revealed through photos of mutilated bodies and body parts strewn throughout the apartment. He even had a vat of acid in which he would dispose of victims. Dahmer killed 17 people in total, the majority of whom were young black men. He was imprisoned twice, once for molestation and once for murder, and was killed by a fellow inmate in 1994. Number 9. Jack the Ripper We call him Jack the Ripper, but we don't know who was behind one of the most notorious murder sprees in history. In 1888, the killer appeared in London's Whitechapel district and murdered and mutilated five women, all prostitutes. The killer was thought to be a surgeon, butcher, or someone skilled with a scalpel, according to police. By sending letters outlining the crimes, the killer mocked the community and the police. Despite the fact that numerous suspects have been named over the years, the killer has never been identified. The case is one of the most well-known unsolved mysteries in English criminal history. The case has remained in the public consciousness in part because known cases of serial murder were much rarer at the time than they are today. Furthermore, Jack the Ripper has provided themes for plenty of literary and dramatic works. Number 8. Richard Ramirez Richard Ramirez is most commonly known as Night Stalker. Ricardo Ramirez terrified neighborhoods throughout Los Angeles with his murderous spree for more than a year in the 1980s. Ramirez used to break into people's homes and brutally murder them, sometimes raping them first. His victims ranged in age from early 20s to a 79-year-old woman. Ramirez, who claimed to be a Satanist, never apologized for his crimes. Finally, he was given the death penalty. The judge, who upheld Ramirez's 13 death sentences, says his actions demonstrated cruelty, callousness, and viciousness beyond any human understanding. Ramirez died of complications from B-cell lymphoma while on death row in California. Number 7. K.D. Kempama K.D. Kempama, known as the Cyanide Malika, is India's first female serial killer. Kempama murdered six women in the eight years following her first murder in 1999, five of whom she murdered between October and December of 2007. She befriended victims of female temple devotees and pretended to be a deeply religious woman. After gaining their trust, she would summon them to another temple, ask them to dress in their finest clothes and jewelry and give them holy water laced with cyanide to drink. She was apprehended by police while attempting to dispose of the jewelry and confessed during questioning. She was Karnataka's first woman to be sentenced to death. Number 6. John Wayne Gacy John Wayne Gacy was an outgoing construction worker known by his suburban neighbors. He was involved in politics and even worked as a clown for birthday parties. But actually, he wasn't a clown. Gacy came under suspicion in 1978 after a 15-year-old boy who was last seen with him went missing. It wasn't the first time families of missing boys pointed fingers at Gacy, but it was the first time authorities took their concerns seriously. Soon after, police obtained a search warrant and gained access to the Gacy home, where they discovered nearly 30 bodies buried in a 4-foot crawlspace beneath his house. He was found guilty of 33 counts of murder as well as rape and torture and was executed by lethal injection in 1994. Number 5. Javed Iqbal Umair 
Javed Iqbal Umair was a Pakistani serial killer who was convicted of sexually abusing and murdering approximately 100 boys. In a letter to police, he initially confessed to killing 100 children. He admitted strangling the children, dismembering their bodies, and dismembering their bodies in an acid bath. Iqbal testified during his trial that he was only a witness to the killings. He claimed in the letter to police that his earlier confession was intended as a message to the parents of the missing children, whom he accused of neglect. Some of Iqbal's victims have been missing for over six months before their parents reported them missing to police. In Pakistan, where such cases of serial killings are rare, the trial elicited strong emotions. Number 4. Luis Garavito Luis Garavito is one of the world's most lethal serial killer, earning the moniker The Beast. Luis Alfredo Garavito is a Colombian serial killer and rapist. He confessed to the rape, torture, and murder of 138 children and teenagers in 1999. He is currently imprisoned in a high-security, geographically isolated prison in Colombia. For his own safety, he lives apart from the other inmates. He only accepts food and drinks from people he knows. His security guards describe him as laid back, upbeat, and respectful. The Beast raped, tortured, and murdered between 100 to 400 boys between the ages of 6 and 16. His official number of victims is 138, which he admitted to in court. Number 3. Samuel Little The FBI regards Samuel Little, who has confessed to nearly 100 murders and has served multiple life sentences in a California prison as one of the most prolific serial killers in the U.S. history. Little, also known as Samuel McDowell, was arrested in a homeless shelter in Kentucky in 2012 and extradited to California to face drug charges. Between 1970 and 2005, he confessed to 93 homicides. Little has been in prison from 2012 for the murders of three women, but passed away at the California hospital in December 2020. In 2018, he told detectives that he had murdered 90 more people across the United States over a 35-year period. According to the FBI, all of the confessions are credible, with more than 50 of them having been verified thus far making Little one of the most prolific serial killers in U.S. history. Number 2. Harold Shipman Harold Shipman, also known as Dr. Death, is thought to have murdered at least 218 patients, though the total is likely to be closer to 250. Between 1972 and 1998, this doctor worked in two different offices in London, killing the entire time. He wasn't caught until several people raised red flags, including an undertaker who was surprised by the sheer number of cremation certificates Shipman was a part of, as well as the fact that the majority of the cases involved elderly women who died in bed during the day rather than at night. The investigation was botched and Shipman continued to kill until he became greedy and attempted to forge a will for a victim that named him the beneficiary, prompting the victim's daughter to become suspicious. He was convicted in 2000 and committed suicide in prison in 2004. Number 1. Pedro Lopez Pedro Lopez, also known as Monster of the Andes, is one of the world's most prolific serial killers and could still be alive and well. Pedro Lopez has been linked to over 300 murders in Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. At least one-third of those murdered were tribal women. Police discovered the graves of more than 50 of Lopez's preteen victims after his arrest in 1980. He was later found guilty of murdering 110 girls in Ecuador and confessed to 240 more in Colombia and Peru. The Monster of the Andes was released in 1998 for good behavior after only 20 years in prison. His whereabouts have remained unknown for more than 20 years. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.